Hello everyone and welcome to this week video. I hope business is doing good as usual. This week we'll see um, how to create a members only store uh, for your website. Uh, meaning that you want to restrict access uh, to any page on, uh, on your website. But we'll see also how to target specific um, pages like your your collection page your product page uh, or, or or whatever page you want to uh, to target and force uh, visitors to log in or uh, create an account if uh, they they're not already a member on your store so this is what it will look like um, if you see I'm trying to, to access another page on my website. It always brings me back to the login. Um, so wherever you want, you're trying to go, it will always bring you back to the login page. Uh, and this, this is what will be uh, showing in this video. So here's what the same page looks uh, without uh, restricting access um, as we, we saw earlier. Um, and also, I just want to point out uh, for you to restrict access to your website, um, you need to have a good reason and you shouldn't do this on, on any store. Um, I will assume maybe uh, you're dealing with distributors uh, or maybe a specific group of, of businesses or people that you absolutely need them to have an account or maybe you need to uh, double check their information, make sure they're, that they're, they're professional or they're... Um, they're part of a certain group. Um, that being said, let's see how uh, how we can uh, we can do it. Please go in your in your admin panel, go in settings and um, checkout. We need to make sure that customers uh, they need to have um, an account. Um, so the really important account should not be disabled. Uh, should be required or uh, at least optional. Uh, in my case, I keep it optional because I'm gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna always have the, the restriction on uh, on my website. So once that it's uh, it, it's set, we'll need to modify the team um, liquid page of uh, of your store. So go back here in online store themes. Click on the three dots and edit HTML CSS. On the left side here under layout, look for theme.liquid. So basically this is the main um, template, the main layout uh, for your whole store. And in this first scenario, we're gonna target um, the, the complete website so any page they want to to access they will need to log in first um, so you will see in the description uh, a link to where to get the code uh, that we need to uh, to add right here let me just go uh, copy paste it so here's the code that you will need to insert in your uh, team liquid uh, page um, you, you need to see it in two uh, different sections. Um, you have the section up top here, and you will have the, the, the second section, which is the code that it's already on your, uh, your page. Um, so let me just remove this. So your, your, your page here has already code. This will be, we will keep all of this and just add to it. Um, so we're not modifying anything, we're not changing anything, we're just adding to it. So take the first section of the code up until else and we're just gonna paste it over here. So the else should, uh, should end where the doc type uh, starts uh, or the beginning beginning of, of your initial code that you had there and we'll be missing uh, the end if because we have we started an if um, and we have an else and we need to close the end if uh, you don't really need to know all of that just copy it and uh, paste it at the bottom of 
your page here don't forget to save and now if we go back to uh, to our page that we had and we refresh it's gonna ask you it's gonna redirect you to the uh, to the login page so uh, that's that fairly easy you can see now that I am logged in and uh, the, the page shows as it should um, and the other pages as well home page um, let's just assume you would like to um, to block access uh, just on the product page so for whatever reason you don't want your products uh, to, to, to show to customers to visitors that don't have an account yet um, in that case what I suggest you to do is go to any product page uh, in, in this case uh, I have this one just do a right click on the page and do inspect element I'm using Firefox you can do the same in Chrome just do inspect element and what I want you to do is uh, scroll at the top top and look for uh, the line body you have your body ID look at the far right you're looking for something uh, that starts with template here we have template product uh, it can be template page template collection uh, and all of those would target in this case template product targets all products um, that have the the, the 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 template product in common so we're just gonna copy this uh, actually the important part is is what follows the the, the, the template uh, so in this case it's it's product um, so we can actually just copy product we go back into the code we just have to modify it a little bit um, so it only targets uh, the, the, the template um, the template product um, so we have to go here in the unless uh, we have the first if if the template contains customer uh, so this is in in the case that you are you are already logged in you will have the the, the template we have a, a customer tag added to it so the, the first if we're gonna leave it as it is we're gonna modify the else and we're actually gonna make it an else if and we will lose the same we will use the same logic as what we have over here I'm I'm gonna copy it but make sure you, you you don't forget you copied the the, the, the product uh, before so copy paste over here and what we wanted to do is uh, assign true that I need you the code to send me to log in to, to, to log in um, only when uh, the template contains product um, so let's save it let's log out okay let's try to go back to the product and it doesn't let me so this is perfect um, another product it won't let me uh, but everything else works uh, so that's uh, that's good um, if you want to do the same thing with uh, with collection for example um, uh, I don't have collection on on, on this website um, but let's still access it here um, so it, it will be the same the, the same logic uh, let's assume I have this closed uh, right click inspect element um, go at the go at the top look for uh, the line body and as some of you may guess it uh, the template in this case it's collection um, so we can do um, we can do exactly the same thing we can add uh, another one uh, or let's try to add an or Okay, so this should work. Let's just click save, refresh. Perfect. So now collection also it's uh, it's gonna redirect to the login page. 
Um, I hope this this was helpful and and fairly easy to to do. If you have any questions, uh, don't hesitate. Please ask uh, as usual in the comments below. In the description also you have all my information, my email, um, Skype, Instagram, uh, LinkedIn, uh, whatever you need to get in touch with me, please do so. And uh, also don't forget to subscribe. I'm releasing videos like this one each week. Uh, so like this, you you won't miss any of them. Thank you and have a good day.